Hi, I'm Julie Pius with Caldwell Banker Milady Realtors up in Eagle River, Wisconsin. It's March 28th of 2012 and I wanted to take a few minutes today to give you a market report. But it is March 28th and I wanted to showcase, Bev and I decided to do it outside so you could actually see the open water on the chain of lakes. You could see the lack of snow and ice and you can actually see the frontage that you want to look at this year. So buyers, if you're out there and you've been waiting to come and actually be able to see the waterfront you want to purchase or just the grounds you want to purchase, it is a great time to get up here. We are probably about four to six weeks ahead of schedule, so it is a great time to buy, get up to northern Wisconsin. Now for some market reports. I've been seeing a lot of activity through the office and people are talking about how busy they've been. So I wanted to take a look, since we are now about the first quarter through 2012, to see what I'm seeing in the market, if it's what happening as our office is happening everywhere. And I've got some good news to report. Um, I wanted to take a look at each market segment and I kind of looked from Land Lakes down to Three Lakes, from Eagle River over to St. Germain, which are the main markets I work in. But if, if you're interested in something more specific for yourself, other than that, give me a call and I can do a study for you. But let's start with some vacant land. Dirt is selling um, compared to last year. Last year in 2011, we had sold 14 parcels by this time in the year. Three were on water, 11 were off water. The average sales price was roughly 51,000 and the average days on market was roughly 514. For 2012, so far, we have sold 15 units this year, six were on water, nine were off water, and the average sales price was roughly 68,000. The average days on markets dropped to about 337. Um, the other neat thing to note is that currently there are 10 um, vacant lots right now that have accepted offers on them that are probably due to close sometime within the next 60 days. So I think that's exciting. Of those 10, five are water. that next. Um, last year at this time there were 19 units that had closed by March 28th. The average sale price was roughly, <clears throat> excuse me, 107,000. Average days on market roughly 227. Of those 19 closed sales, I believe based on my research that about seven of them were bank owned, REO properties, and the other 12 were regular arm's length transaction from sellers. Um, highest off water price last year, 250,000. Now let's compare that to 2012. We have had 16 units so far close. The average sale price, 126,000. Average days on market, about 280. And of those 16, five appear to have been bank owned and 11 were not. So, and again, the highest off water price was 200,000. Right now we have 13 off water markets, or off water homes in my market second segment with accepted offers on them. Of those 13, only three appear to be bank owned. So what does this mean for the off water market? Total sales are slightly up. Bank owned sales are slightly up. Average sale prices are up. And the high number of transactions due to clothes with a limited number of bank owned properties is good news to me. The neat thing to look at there as well is the highest off water sale that we've had in those counties and townships has been 200,000, which is 50,000 down from last year. Yet despite that, the average sales price is up by about 20,000. So to me, again, that shows that the market is being driven by people looking and when they're finding something, they're writing an offer on it. And um, I, I think, again, more good news for the off-water market home sales. Now lastly, let's look at on-water properties. Um, in 2011, we had 12 units closed by March 28th. The average sale price was 416000 The average days on market, 363 Of those 12 closed sales last year, two appeared to be bank owned and 10 not. The price range was from 90000 and then we had that big $2 million sale price last year that closed up in Land Lakes. So we saw a $2 million sale, which we believe was going to push that, that price up a little bit. So far this year in 2012, we've seen 14 units closed, average sale price 445000 average days on market 274 and of those 14 closed sales, four appear to have been bank owned. The, um, we did have a $3.325 million sale this year, so that kind of offsets that $2 million sale last year. So again, in the off-water market, or in the on-water home sale market, price is up, days on market is down, total sales are up. And again, the overall percentage of bank owned is slightly up, which is probably driving that days on market down. Um, again, 
positive signs to me. Right now in the on water market segment, there are 16 properties that have accepted offers due to close. Four of those I believe are bank owned. So again, to me, this is all good news. Um, buyers are out there shopping, they're looking to make a deal, they're looking to buy some real estate. And as you can see, there's no better time than right now because you can actually see what you're purchasing early, about again, six weeks ahead of schedule. So if you see something you like, if you have a question about the market, please call me, Julie Pias, your Northwoods real estate professional. I know I threw a lot of numbers at you. I've got this all in print. If you'd like me to send you a copy, just give me a call or shoot me an email. Um, have a wonderful day, happy spring, think warm thoughts, and um, let's shop for some real estate.